Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about assistive listening devices and how they make the best hearing aids in the world even better. Coming up. Every year, hearing aid manufacturers release newer and better hearing aid technology that have the ability to take your hearing performance to the next level. Whether this is due to better speech understanding and background noise, better ability to hear and understand soft talkers, or better automatic functionality when you go into different listening environments, it's hard to believe that the technology of today could even be better. But what if I told you that there's a way to significantly improve the performance of your hearing aids and it wouldn't even cost you that much money? Well, this is exactly exactly what an assistive listening device is intended to do. An assistive listening device, or ALD, is anything that you can use in addition to or in lieu of your hearing aids to improve how well you hear. Generally speaking, there are several different categories of assistive listening devices, including remote microphones, smartphones or tablets, TV streamers, captioned telephones, and at-home safety devices. Let's start by talking about remote microphones first. Remote microphones are great because they significantly improve what is called your signal-to-noise ratio. This is the ratio between the speech that you want to hear and the background noise that you do not want to hear. And the greater this difference in signal-to-noise ratio, the better you're going to hear. For example, if you have a signal-to-noise ratio of plus 10 decibels, that means that the speech that you want to hear is 10 decibels louder than the background noise. So if the best hearing aids in the world can give you around a plus seven decibel signal to noise ratio improvement over your natural hearing ability, but a remote microphone can give you a plus 15 decibel signal to noise ratio improvement. That is an additional improvement of eight decibels, which is huge. Pretty much all of the major hearing aid manufacturers have their own proprietary remote microphones. Phonak has their partner mic and Roger microphones. Oticon has their connect clip. Resound has their multi mic and micro mic. Starkey has their Remote Microphone and Remote Microphone Plus. Signia has their Streamline Mic. And Widex has their Comdex and Sound Assist. And some of these remote microphone assistive listening devices have additional features inside of them as well. Some of them are very basic where you just clip them onto the shirt of the person that you want to hear. It takes their voice directly from their mouth and sends it wirelessly into both of your ears so the background noise does not have a chance to mix in. Some of them you can place on the center of a table like in a noisy restaurant and it will pick up primarily the voices of the people sitting at the table with you. Some of them you can take and actually point at the person that you want to hear so it cuts through the background noise and you can switch between multiple different people depending on who's talking. And some of them even have a telecoil inside of them which will give you access to a wireless hearing loop inside of a public venue. Of course, the more basic these remote microphones are, the less they will cost you and they typically run anywhere between $300 and $500. The more multifunctional they are, the more expensive they will be, like the Phonak Roger microphones that cost a little over $1,000, but these will act as a remote microphone, a table microphone, a clip-on microphone, Microphone, and it will also stream audio directly from your TV into both of your ears and you even get an app to control the functionality with. The crazy thing is remote microphones have the ability to improve your hearing even more than the most expensive hearing aids in the world at a tiny fraction of the cost. Just keep in mind that anytime you use a remote microphone, the closer you get that microphone to the sound source that you want to hear, the better it'll perform. Now I also consider smartphones and tablets to be assistive listening devices as well. If you have a made for iPhone hearing aid, you can use the live listen feature on your Apple devices to turn your iPhone or your iPad into a remote microphone. If you want to see exactly how this works, I will link this video down in the description where Dr. Rachel Cook explains how this works. Not to mention the ability to stream audio directly from a smart device into both of your hearing aids can dramatically improve sound quality for things like phone calls, audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube videos, and sometimes even music. Although I have to say that TV streamers are probably the most popular assistive listening devices out there because this will take the dialogue from the TV and send that wirelessly into both of your hearing aids, significantly improving sound quality because it fights through all the bad acoustics that you typically have in your TV room, as well as bad speakers that your TV may have, and it does not interfere with the audio for anyone else who's watching TV with you. So really, if you struggle to understand dialogue on TV because of all the background noise and music that's all mixed in with the audio, a TV streamer can solve that problem for you. Each hearing aid manufacturer also has 
has their own proprietary TV streamer as well, so make sure that you ask your hearing care professional which one is compatible with your hearing aids. After your hearing care professional has paired the TV streamer to your hearing aids and programmed the audio, all you have to do is go home, plug it into the back of your TV, and voila, you can start streaming the audio directly from your TV into both of your ears at your prescriptive levels. I will say that some hearing aid manufacturers allow for a lot more customization of your streaming program, so if that is important to you, make sure that you're using hearing aids that have full customizability of this. If you struggle to understand dialogue on the TV, trust me, a TV streamer will fix it. Caption telephones and other at-home safety devices are also considered assistive listening devices. Caption telephones like the ones you get from CapTel or Caption Call are actually free for you if you have a hearing loss as long as you go through your hearing care professional. Not only are the phones free, but the captioning service is free for you as well. These landline phones not only caption the dialogue from the person you're talking to on the other end of the line, but the handsets are typically amplified even more and they are all telecoil compatible. Now, if you do not have a landline, you don't want a landline, or you cannot get a landline, you can also use captioning on your smartphone. All of the newer iPhones and the newer Samsung phones have captioning capabilities inside of them already. You just have to activate it. As for at-home safety assistive listening devices, you have different things like smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors that are amplified much louder than typical, and they also have flashing lights. You can also get alarm clocks that are much louder and flashlights as well, and even have these little pucks that you put under your mattress that will vibrate the entire mattress to wake you up because typically you don't wear your hearing aids while you're sleeping. And you even have other things like doorbells that are much louder or give you a notification on an app on your smartphone just in case they're not loud enough for you to hear it. All of these at-home safety assistive listening devices make living at home, especially if you live alone, a lot safer, especially when you take your hearing aids out of your ears. And if you'd like to learn more about these at-home safety devices, Dr. Rachel Cook also made this video for you guys, so I will link that in the description as well. At the end of the day, the people who perform best with their hearing aids are the ones who are willing to use these different assistive listening devices to enhance the performance of their hearing aids. So as you can see, there are a lot of different assistive listening devices that do a lot of different things. So if you want to hear better in background noise, or you want to hear someone better at a distance, or you want to stream audio directly from your tablet or iPhone directly into your ears, or you just want to be safer at home, there is an assistive listening device for you, and you just need to ask your hearing care professional which one is compatible with your devices. Because like I said before, assistive listening devices can dramatically improve the performance of your hearing aids, and they can do it at a tiny fraction of the cost.